Hi, welcome to Pensacola Rules. Uh, the project we're working on today is we are going to replace the front air conditioner in our 2003 Jayco Forenza. Uh, the one that was there, uh, we had a 13,500 uh, B2 unit, uh, two of them actually, and the one on the front, the motor burnt out on it. What we decided to do is instead of just replacing the motor, which would have cost about a hundred bucks, we decided to go ahead and replace the air conditioner. Um, the reason for that is that the air conditioner that was in there was 15 years old. Um, once we go full time, we don't want to run the risk of having uh, the air conditioner go out. <clears throat> it's easier to handle right now. Uh, the reason for 15,000 BTUs instead of the original 13,500 is that we found that when we're on 30 amp service, um, what happens is we uh, can only run one air conditioner. And we decided what we would do is put a 15,000 BTU unit in there because we could run one, run that one unit, cool down the entire rig uh, if we only had 30 amp service. So that was the reason for it. Uh, I'll be honest, I was scared to death that it was going to be difficult. And I got to looking and there's really not a lot to it. Uh, primarily what you do is you take out, uh, take the panel off the inside. Uh, there's, I believe, seven screws to do that. Once you get that, the, the inside cover off. Now this is for a ducted unit. Um, ours actually has ducts that run all the way through. Um, but you take those seven screws off. Uh, there's four screws inside, long screws that go all the way up into the unit. Uh, those, unless somebody messed up, those are not glued down. Uh, they just sit on a, on a big thick foam uh, pad. And so once you pull those, those four off, you can push up and that, that thing slides right off. Um, there's a wiring harness you got to, depending on the unit, some of them, all you have to do is just unplug the wire. Uh, there's a, a big wire bundle there. You'll see it. You unplug that wire and you have to reach up in there. Uh, the, um, the thermostat, there's a little thermostat lead that goes up and it just sticks in the fins of the condenser. Uh, and you just pull that out. Once you've done that, really the only tricky part is getting the air conditioner up there. And I came up with all kinds of schemes. Uh, to get that thing up there. I was going to slide it up the ladder. I was going to build a little slide to, to go up the ladder so we could take it up that way. I have a nephew-in-law. Uh, he's my niece's um, husband. And what he said to do was just rope it and haul it up. And so that's what we did. Um, it scared the crap out of me, <laughs> but it was no problem. He just roped it uh, going both directions. And then I stood on the ground and, and I followed it up on the ladder just to make sure it could get clear of, of like the awning. Uh, but once he got it up there, you know, we, we, we roped the other one down, roped that one up, uh, set it in place, four screws, and we were done. Uh, this video will go through and show you uh, how it was done. Um, I could see easily with practice you could have this done in 30 minutes. It is that easy. Um, the unit cost, I think it was uh, between five and six hundred dollars. Uh, there'll be a link for it down in the description uh, if you're interested in buying one. Uh, but we've been real happy with it. Like I said, it was an easy install. Uh, it had a lot more flow. It had a lot more uh, uh, cooling power. And I think it's going to do well for us. So let's get to it. shut the power off so we're going to take these screws out right here. apparently stripped we'll get this one in the corner here Here's what we got in here. Over on this side, <clears throat> we got these four bolts that have to come out. They go all the way up and hook into the unit. The unit's up there. We got a wire we have to unhook, which is right there. That's good. Yeah, okay, it looks like stuff out of the way. There's a control panel on mine. And it appears all I have to do 
is unhook these two wing bolt or wing nuts here and that should come down so let's see if we can get those Okay, so here's the unit. See that or not? And all the wires. Okay, now we all we have to do is take out these four bolts. It's a whole lot easier. If you got a drill, you can use to in a in a, a bit. Since nobody else will tell you, I will tell you. This is a three or a five sixteenths bit. comes down and we should be able to just like that and the air conditioner is off come on over get a video inside nope we still got a Our thermostat wire is still stuck up in there. There we go. Oops. <laughs> Stuff falling everywhere. That's all there is to it. You muscled that bad boy up here. Tell me how you did it. Uh, we did just a cradle strap and straight lifted it up. It, was, uh, it comes from uh, many rooftops lifting heavy bottles up. I said, and how are you gonna get the old one back down? We're just gonna slide it on down the ladder. We'll strap it up, slide it on down the ladder, let gravity do the work for us. Okay, sound like a plan. Easy enough. All right. Just clean this up around the edge here a little bit. Get a nice clean surface for the gasket. Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. When, <clears throat> I was looking to see how this was done. Then. Just a gasket. It doesn't have any, any caulk or anything like that. Well, that's what I wonder. I think it'll be the nice thing about the fiberglass roof with that rubber roof. I'm dreading to see what I, what I, yeah. you know, find when I lift my old one off. Yeah, I was going to say, apparently that fiberglass is just on top of a layer of plywood there. Yeah, well, maybe so just, just some, is that a three-eighths inch, maybe quarter inch yeah. thick? Yeah, it's not very thick. But I like that aluminum frame they've got. There. Right, right. And I'm going to have to redo all this, this tape here because it's all just kind of. When you go to the hardware store, if you don't already have tape, make sure you get the stuff that has the red marking on it. Okay. It's a better rated adhesive. It'll hold on for a longer haul. Oh, okay. Over over using this stuff. the dealership wants to do these kind of things you know that's a, that's a two thousand dollar job four screws can be accomplished by two people and a little bit of sweat yeah, not even a whole hell of a lot of sweat right i'm just gonna get it to the edge gravity do the work for me yeah. Okay, well we got the new unit in, and now all we got to do is uh, get this thermostat in there. I got this stuff all hanging down. <clears throat> I 
think what I need to do is go ahead and put this back in first. So that it's not I'm trying to pull that thermostat wire down. Got my little wing nuts here. <coughs> That screwed on. And then here's the other. this wire and plug that in right there okay Now we got all that in place. Let's see if we can't figure out. Okay, now well, we finally got it in between. So we should be good there. Okay, so what I'm doing now is these areas here, uh, the foil tape they had on there uh, was all tore up, which allows air to get in behind and up underneath your, your liner. Uh, and it doesn't direct as much air through the vents as it should. You have to be careful with this foil tape because it is just a bit sharp on the edges. I'm making sure I get it all ironed down. And they like say they didn't have the from this inside rail into where the vent is. They didn't have that done. So I'm going to do that now to make sure we're actually directing the air into the vents and not into the just up into the attic. Now my nephew-in-law is the one that told me to get the tape that has the red print on it and it says premium foil and it's much heavier duty than just your standard foil tape. Because you only want to have to do this once. Again, make sure you get it all sealed down in behind because if you don't, air gets up underneath there, it blows dust and eventually it doesn't do the least bit of good. Okay, and again, that's <clears throat> the long screws here hold it up there, and they actual pull down and I think you can probably see it yeah if you look right here there's some little tabs there and they're on all four corners and what's supposed to happen when it comes to the right squeeze when you when you compress that gasket enough what will happen is that will be all the way down here to the to the top that tells you keeps you from over uh, over tightening this thing or for under tightening this thing. Okay, so this is gonna go on like this. Four bolt 
started. these in enough I don't have to stand there and hold that up there's zero tension on it right now just enough to keep the plate from falling down and we get all four bolts started and again we bent that frame in so I would suggest it didn't do it up here so I would suggest Use a little common sense on that because you can see where that's bulging down. I'm going to let that off some. Well, that was it. I'd say it was a whole lot easier than we thought it'd be. Uh, probably the only thing that, that uh, caught me off guard was everything I had read said you just unhook the, uh, uh, the wire uh, harness and that's all you had to do. Mine actually had the box with all the wiring in it and it was bolted with a couple of wing nuts. So we had to take that off and pull that whole, that whole box out. But really it was nothing. Uh, you take that out, you take the the little thermostat out. Um, other than that, it was it was as easy as, as advertised. Um, so hey, if you like us, subscribe. Uh, my wife would say like, share, and hit the bell. <laughs> uh, appreciate you coming to Pensacola Rules, and we hope to see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Works is I think we can go ahead and just turn the fan on and see if it'll blow air. So let's give that a shot. Thank you.